welcome to my channel IT Smart Training today session is on AWS Elastic IP address so if my video is informative please like the video and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get more up to date so let's start student session Elastic IP address <laughs> AWS Elastic IP. So before starting AW, uh, starting the uh, to take the concept about the Elastic AWS Elastic IP, so we have to know some basic concept about uh, the what is a private IP, what is public IP addresses. So Amazon EC2 instances IP addressing scheme we want to going to describe right now. So Amazon EC2 and Amazon VPC Virtual Private Cloud support both. IPv4 and IPv6 addressing protocol. By default, Amazon EC2 and Amazon Virtual Private Cloud VPC use the IPv4 addressing protocol. You cannot disable this behavior. When you create a VPC, you must specify an IPv4 address CIDR block. CIDR block means a range of private IP addresses. You can optionally assign an IPv6 CIDR block to your VPC and subnets and assign IPv6 address from that block to the instance in your subnet. So first the private IP address and the internal DNS host names. So a private IP address is an IP address that's not reachable over the internet. We cannot access this private IP address over the internet. It is only for users in our LAN. You can use private IPv4 address for communications between instances in the same VPC. AWS allocate private IP address to instances using DSCP. AWS provide the public private IP address to the instances by using the DHCP service dynamic host configuration protocol. When you launch an instances, we allocate, uh, we means uh, AWS allocate uh, a primary private IPv4 address for the instances. Each instance is also given an internal DNS host name that results to primary private IPv4 address. For example, IP hyphen 10 hyphen 251 hyphen 50 hyphen 12 dot ec2 dot internal this is the uh, host name of that particular IP address which is provided by AWS uh, and uh, you can uh, use the internal DNS host name for communicating between the instances uh, in the same VPC but you cannot resolve the internal DNS host name outside your VPC. Suppose you want to connect uh, uh, your uh, virtual machines to another VPC, so that is not possible. Your private IP address is only accessible into your VPC only. Next, public IP addresses and external DNS host name. A public IP address is an IPv4 address that reachable from the internet private IP address is not reachable in the internet but the public IP address is reachable on the internet from the internet you can use public IP addresses for communications between your instances and the internet each inst instances that receives a public IP address is also given an external DNS host name for example like ec2 hyphen that address and compute1.amazonaws.com AWS resolve and external DNS hostname to public IP addresses of the instance from outside its VPC. In this scenario, you can connect one VPC to another VPC through using this public IP addresses. The public IP address is mapped to the primary private IP addresses through network address translation. Okay, so that public IP address mapped 
to your private IP address of the instances and they, that that uh, configurations is using a NAT technology network address translations to resolve the public IP address to private IP addresses. A public IP address is assigned to your instance from AWS or Amazon pool of public IPv4 addresses and it is associated with your AWS account. When a public IP address is disassociated from your instances, it is released back into your public IP address pool and you cannot reuse it. Beside being, you cannot manually associate or deassociate a public IP address from your instance. Instead, in certain cases, we release the public IP addresses from your instance or assign it new one. Okay, so that public IP address we basically get from the DSCP pool from the AWS and it cannot be released uh, manually. Okay, if my system VM is stopped, that IP address is automatically released. So next, AWS release your instances public IP addresses when it is stopped, hibernated or terminated when your instance is stopped, hibernated or terminated. You stopped or hibernated instances receive a new public IP addresses when it is started. We release you, uh, AWS release your instances uh, public IP addresses when you associate an elastic IP addresses with it. When you disassociate the elastic IP addresses from your instances, it receives a new public IP addresses. If the public IP addresses of your instances in a VPC has been released, it will not receive a new one if there is more than one network interface attached to your interface. This is a point. If your instance public IP address is released when it is secondary private IP address that is associated in your elastic IP address, the instance does not receive a new public IP address. Next, what is elastic IP address? So to overcome that scenario, an elastic IP address is a public IPv4 addresses that you can allocate to your account. You can associate it to and disassociate it from instances as required. It is allocated to your account until you choose to release it. An elastic IP address is a public IP addresses or a static IP address or a live IP address which is reachable from the internet. If your instances does not have a public IPv4 address, you can associate an elastic IP address with your instances to enable communications with the internet. For example, this is allow you to connect to your instance from your local computer. You can connect your instance from your local computer. So some elastic IP address basics are there. So the following are the basic criteria of elastic IP addresses. First point is an elastic IP address is a static. It does not change over time. It is a static IP address or a live IP address. To use an elastic IP address you first allocate one to your account and then associate it with your instances or a network interface. When you associate an elastic IP address uh, with your instances, it is also associated with the instance primary network interface. When you associate an elastic IP address with a network interface that is attached to an instance, it is also associated with the instance. When you associate an elastic IP address with an instance or it's a primary network interface, the instance public IP address if it is had one uh, is released back into your Amazon pool to public IPv4 address. You cannot reuse public IPv4 address and you cannot convert the public IPv4 address to an elastic IP address. 
A disassociate Elastic IP address remains allocated to your account until your elasticity release it. When you associate an Elastic IP address with an instance that previously had a public IP address, the public host name of that instance changed to match the Elastic IP address. We resolve a public IP, public DNS host name to the public IPv4 address or the Elastic IP address of the instances outside to the network of that instances and to private IPv4 address to the instances from the within the network of the interface of the instance. Next, an Elastic IP address comes from Amazon pool of IPv4 addresses or from a custom IP address pool that you have bought to your AWS account. You can buy the static IP address pool from your AWS account. When you allocate an elastic IP address from an IP address pool that you have bought to your AWS account, it does not count toward your elastic IP address limit. By default, all accounts are limited to 5 elastic IP address per region. But if you buy the pool, you can uh, you have no limit. An elastic IP address is for a uh, specific network border group only. Next, an elastic IP address is for use in a specific region only and cannot be moved to a different region. Suppose we are using a suppose a something x dot x dot x dot x IP address is using for a region and I want to change that IP address to assigned to the another region so that is not possible if it is very region to region how much does elastic IP address cost elastic IP address are totally free as long as they are being used by an instance however Amazon will charge you 0 0.005 dollar per hour for each elastic IP address that you reserve and do not use you will be changed if you ever remap and an elastic IP more than 100 times in a month. You will be charged if you ever remap an elastic IP more than 100 times in a month. By default, one single public IP address, elastic IP address is totally free. When you are not using if you are using that that is a free if you are not using you just uh, you just take the elastic IP address and you just uh, you, you, you just you just uh, just keep it in your AWS account without users so you have to be charged and it is charged will be per hour basis and the charges will be 0 0.005 dollar per hour so how do I delete an elastic IP address there is a, some basic rules to delete an elastic IP address so before you delete an elastic IP address, verify that it's not in use. First, check your DNS records and make sure that it does not contain an elastic IP address that you are going to delete. Remember, there is no undo button. Once it is deleted, it deleted. you will no longer be able to use that specific IP address ever again. Once you delete an elastic IP address from your account, it's get returned to the Amazon pool of IP addresses. Follow the below steps, make sure that you take necessary step before deleting an elastic IP address. So I will show you this part in the uh, uh, in uh, the lab session so I just small small description I just giving you first remove the elastic IP address of all entries this is the first rule just delete the elastic IP address from all DNS entries wait a minimum 24 hours because all the rep records are propagated uh, previously so automatically that IP address that record are, uh, uh, records are uh, Depropagated, uh, it takes some time around 24 hours. It is a timestamp. When your elastic IP address remains ideal in your account, perform some tasks to make sure that you, uh, your new DNS changes have gone through and 
that your deployment is running as expected without any errors related to the DNS records. Next, delete your unused Elastic IP address, go to Clouds, AWS, Elastic IP, then click the delete button. Here is a note also that if it may take about 5 minutes for the Elastic IP to disappear from your skin after you are deleted it. So if the Elastic IP address is unused then what happened? This is because they are publicly routable IP address. Elastic IP address are publicly routable IP address. IP address. Public IPv4 address are a very limited resources. So if reserve address do not use, it is considered west wasteful. It is considered a wasteful practice and it will be charged by Amazon. So this is all about uh, your elastic IP addresses basics. So now I am just going to show you the lab sessions how to configure and how to get elastic IP addresses. So I am going to my uh, uh, AWS uh, management console. I just clicking the EC2. I just go EC2 instance tab. I am just clicking instances is all state. Here I can see that I have an instance but it is in stopped not terminated it is in stopped. So here you can see that here is a private IP address of this instance it is 172.31.12.80. This is a private IP address which is allocated by AWS and the public IP address and the DNS address are missing right now. So currently now I am just start the instance. After starting the instance, after few minutes, you can see that the public IP address is automatically propagated here and it is taken from the AWS DSCP pool. Yes, you can see that the public IP address is 52, 66, 140 and 59 and this is my private IP address and this is the DNS and the elastic IP address part is showing blank. So this public IP address is randomly changed. If, my tar if, I, uh, if I stop instances, if I uh, terminate instances, if I hibernate instances, this public IP address is automatically changed. But if I reboot an instances, the public IP address is not changed. I just show you, I just select reboot instances, just reboot. I'm just refreshing the page once. I'm selecting my instance you can see the public IP address is not changed. The previous address is given here. So I'm just copying that address and just go to the notepad and paste. This is my current public IP address. Now what I do, I just stop the instances. I just stop the instances, I just stop. You can see instance is stopping so after few seconds you can see that the pub public IP addresses automatically disappear from the console because the public IP when you uh, stop the instances the public IP address is automatically released and back to the AWS pool
is still stopping I'm just refreshing page once see the stopped and the public IP address is disappeared so my previous public IP address was this so now I'm just starting instance so after start instance you can see that the public IP address is changed just wait a few seconds see I just copy this address I just paste it to notepad to uh, get understand see this public IP address is changed so this is the public IP address but if you have a web server in your instances so uh, that could be make a problem because um, the web server if the change uh, randomly change the public IP address so it will affect your web servers and you have to map every time into your DNS to change the public IP address so for that we can use the uh, elastic IP addresses for that so so I just go network and security there is an option elastic IP I just click on elastic IP here allocate an elastic IP address so make sure that elastic IP address should not be unused state so AWS Amazon pool IPv4 address so if you want to add tag you can add tag you can create an accelerator AWS accelerator so AWS global accelerator can provide a global static IP addresses that are announced worldwide using any cast from AWS edge lo locations this can help to improve your availability and latency of your traffic okay so for now I am just leave this option and just I am just allocating a public IP address for that so you can see that this IP address is allocated for me 65.0.62 so if I go here this is my public uh, static IP address or elastic IP address so now I have to allocate it to my VM so I'm just go to the action just select you, you, you can view details also you can details you can see that uh, this is uh, the public IP address and all the information is showing who is provided it is showing so now I am just go I just go back and go to actions and associate elastic IP address I just click on this so now I just click the associate uh, I just want to uh, associate with the instance choose an instance which is running currently and allocate now you can see that you can see the associate instance ID over here if I click over here the AWS management console will open I just click on the instance ID and the instance page will open I select that instance and you can see that the public IP address is changed to 65062250 and the elastic IP address is also same in that case when we assign an elastic IP address then the public IP address is automatically released and it will go to the public IP address pool and the elastic IP address is automatically assigned okay so if I uh, I already copied it so if I paste over here so you can see my web server is open because previously in my previous video I already uh, create a uh, um, Apache installations in this machine so now what to do 
so now I want to remove or release this ID or remove release this uh, address so there are several steps do not remove your instance when your elastic IP address is allocated so I just go to the elastic IP address just deassociate elastic IP address just deassociate I just deassociate the elastic IP address so you can see if I go to my instance if I go with the instances you can see elastic IP address is blank and another IP address is taken from the pool another public IP address so now I am unable to access my server with that elastic IP address but we can access with this IP address sorry it's not copying just copy it and paste it just stop this one and just refresh once again to verify the public IP address so it is not properly released yet I think this is taken IP address is this you can see this is open so this is my private IP address so after releasing I just release so now I can release elastic IP addresses so if I release this elastic IP address this elastic IP address will go back to the AWS pool so we don't have to get charged and if I uh, not assigned any VM or we can unuse the elastic IP address so I have to get paid so this is all about the elastic IP address if my video is informative please like the video and subscribe my channel see you on my next video thank you